Here I have the latest M2 Mac Mini, and I've had it for about a week now, and I can tell you this machine is absolutely insane. It's got so much power, more power than a typical user would use. Um, today I wanna do a quick stress test and just show you some of the performance of the machine. I'm going to do some light video editing, show some 4K video, open up some browser tabs, and just see what we can throw at this machine. Here I'm gonna do a quick boot test. So pressing the button now. And just in a sec, it'll log us in. And there you go. We're fully in the system. Everything's ready to use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just open up all the apps and see how quickly stuff launches. I'm gonna open them all on the dock. So pretty much pretty instantaneous on how fast this stuff can launch. I can't even keep up with it with my hand, um, but you can see everything's launching pretty instantaneous. This is the base model M2 Mac Mini. So here we have an iMovie screen. See, I already have a video that I'm editing here and just split this clip, split here. Um, let's say we wanna just play some background music or watch a video in the background. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna launch a few of these 4K videos. So you can see we've got four <clears throat> 4K videos playing in the background. And let's say we wanna browse and look for some video microphones. So here we are on Amazon. I wanna look at this one, look at this one, look at this one here. So the computer fans on this haven't even started kicking on. So you can tell this machine just has so much power. If you're just doing Word documents, um, typing things out, browsing the web, even just video editing, Photoshop editing, this thing will be more than powerful enough. And it starts at $600, it's absolutely insane. So we're doing some research here, you know, we're filming some videos, we wanna find a good microphone. Say we've got like 20 different Chrome tabs, we've got four 4K videos playing in the background. Now I'm gonna head to, you know, um, iMovie and this isn't Final Cut, but we'll do some, you know, basic video editing. Let's let's change the color around in here and let's apply it to this about 20 minute clip here. We're gonna adjust the color on this thing. And super smooth, no lags on anything. Say so we need to come here. I mean, there's not much else you can ask for the, on this machine. And let's check the usage here. So CPU, we're at, you know, roughly 11%, 15, 14% here, idling around 75. So this is only using up 25% of the CPU. We're displaying these videos. We've got all these tabs open, all these applications open. We're working on in the same time. And we're only using about 70% of the machine. The memory does use up a bit more when you're on the browser as well as in video editing. So if you really wanted to up your memory, um, I would say that might be worth your money. So we're getting capped around eight gigs and we're using about seven and a half gigs with all these things open. I'm gonna run some things in the background like these um, speed tests for the solid state. We're getting around 1600 on the write and read, which is, not as fast as the old M1 Mac Mini, but it's still pretty decent for the average user. Um, on the old systems, you would get about double the speed, close to 3000. And for why not, let's go ahead and run a Geek uh, Bench on here. 
and you're not supposed to run this while you've got other stuff running on the machine, but all we want to do is really push this machine to the max and see if we can just get the fans running and get that activity monitor to show. So now it looks like we are getting up higher on the usage, um, having the Geekbench run. I'm going to go ahead and kill that. And it's going to free up a lot of the system here. So again, here we've got the 4K videos running. We've got our Chrome browser tabs open. We've got a read and write. We're really stressing this machine out right now. And it looks like the read and write has really fallen down because um, the video editing is writing back and we are creating all these transitions in here. Let's check out the activity monitor. Still about 40%, but we're going strong. I, I would say an average user is not gonna be watching all these videos, got these browser tabs open and editing a video at the same time. So that is just, again, a very quick look at this stress test on the M2 Mac Mini. I do plan to do a lot more testing on this machine. If you guys do have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. Uh, let me know your feedback. You know, if you're looking at this machine, what you guys are going to use it for, what you want to install and use the computer for. Um, check out my channel for more tech videos. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.